A new law passed by Governor DeSantis adds new restrictions on the use of cell phones in schools. Action News Jack's Jimmy Marlowe explains how this could lead to some lawsuits. Schools reopen here in Duval County in a little over a week, and this year there will be new rules on the use of cell phones in schools. Meanwhile, the use of the app TikTok has been banned on school district devices and on the school district's internet service. I spoke with an attorney to learn how these new rules could affect students and school districts across the state. You're stuck now. You don't have a choice. You don't have an option. You now must answer to the agent employee officer of the school, namely your teacher. Going back to school this year in Florida is going to involve changes to how students use their cell phones in schools. Under a new law, school districts can now legally take a student's phone during instructional hours, and the use of the social media app TikTok has been banned on district devices and on the district's internet service. Attorney Matt Dolman says that the new legislation does have some gray areas where individual school districts may handle the same issues differently. Do I think they're going to be lost? 100%. Do I think those lawsuits are going to succeed or flourish? Probably not. I think the school districts will be protected under the cover of the statute. I mean, they're acting in a, as long as they're acting in accordance with the legislation. And that's where you, the ambiguity is what does the legislation really say? What doesn't it say? As students prepare for school, Dolman says that the ambiguity of this legislation is something that families should prepare for before the first day of school. He says parents should talk with students and prepare them for how to use these new rules. Now, how far are the school districts going to interpret this statute and what punishments will they will be in school suspension, out of school suspension, detention as a result of violating this, what is really, it's a state statute. How, but it's left to school districts to interpret that, and then there'll be a line of case law that will come out as a result. Again, school starts in about 10 days here in Duval County. Matthew Dolman says that now is the time for families to have conversations about these new rules and how they will be enforced so that students are prepared before the first day of school. For local coverage you can count on on the north side, I'm Jimmy Marlowe for Action News Jax.